Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunker down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this edition of What a Horse. We got some great video today from yes. your barn from East Tennessee. Yes, sir. Got a little bit of everything. But before we do anything, I'm going to do one thing for Dennis. Dennis, this is for you. We'll be right back after these messages. See? <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB voted Super best overall and most trusted brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And JD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. Perfection Leather, a division of the Winter Circle. Our high quality products are handcrafted at our manufacturing facility in Shelbyville, Tennessee, using the very finest Wicked and Craig bridle and harness leather. All hides are thoroughly inspected to ensure consistent thickness and a smooth finish. They are also examined for any imperfections that would reduce the quality of our products. After inspection of the hides, each piece is hand cut or die cut to the product's precise specifications. Each component is then assembled by an experienced craftsman. The assembled product is then stitched by an experienced operator using state-of-the-art lock stitch machinery. The stitch product is then finished and hand polished to their completion. After completion, each product is carefully inspected for quality assurance. All of Perfection Leather products are available at the Winter Circle Horse Supply. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Back. We've had some maneuvering to do. Yes. Announcements. Penny Royal is this Thursday or Friday night. Yes. Saturday night in Oak Grove. You need any information? Call Jennifer Barr at 931-205-3493. Marty Barr, 615-586-3220. Showtime Friday is 5.30, Saturday is 5 o'clock. And one hour before showtime, we will go live with a live stream and you can look on Facebook and get the link. Go Jerry Harris on Facebook and members of 
Water Horse TV video group, you can go there and get the link. It'll go take you straight to the show, you watch the whole thing. That's the Penny Royal. March 4th, they got a Coleman, Alabama. They're going to have the uh, Coleman barn party that they have. You can call uh, Gerald Campbell at 205-566-6091, Nathan Clark, 256-505-1210, or David Latham, 256-572-1820. And then, of course, in March 15th, we're going to have the trainer's show at Cooper Steel Arena in Shelbyville. We'll have more information on that later. I do want to talk one minute about the show we're doing April the 8th in Lynchburg. I got some packages here. Gold packages. Brown packages. Every winner of the youth class, which there's eight classes, one of them's got flat shot first way, padded second yes. way, that's the first time to show. Every one of them winners, all nine of them going into a hat, we're going to pull one name. That one name gets this little package right here, which is $500 in cash. The person that pulls this one will then start pulling names, and the first two will get $100 a piece. I talked to James Wilson this morning, and he said, hey, let's give a couple more some money. So we're going to pull this one. We'll pull four names out of all the kids that show, and four of them will win a hundred dollars a piece. That work, that's that's free money. Yeah, that's We're right. We're not going to take taxes out. <laughs> going to let them have it. So. And it goes to the kids, not the. It goes to the kids. Not the parents. That's right. And when, I'm going to tell you what. When you talk about kids, we got one. That just uh, every time I watch her, she amazes me. All these kids do. But Allie Joe Jacobs. I, I watched a video of her, and uh, everybody's over there watching her. And uh, the guy right there with the cup, Mac Beekle, I text him. Now, this is Cole Hahn and Switchblade. They're three different clips, two of them Switchblade and one of them Cole Hahn. But I was I, 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 talking to Mac Beekle. I said, look like she had control. He said, complete control <laughs> over both of them. I said, that girl can flat ride. Yes, and she, she can. works at it. Yes. But now she's not the only one. A bunch of these kids. A bunch of they, kids. They, I mean. They work hard, Jerry. They really do. So, well, you had a bunch out your place Saturday that riding, having, having a good fun time. Having fun and stuff like that. That's what I like stuff. to do, just to have fun. That's what it's all about. Yep. It, that, that's why. The funds we raise in Lynchburg will go to, I want to have extreme cowboy competition for our youth. That's the versatility and obstacle course. Yes. I found out that uh, over at uh, Tweeba, they've already got most of the, the obstacles. Okay. All right. We got some contenders. Now, these, these are contenders. This right here is 2011, 2000. 23, 11, and under. I'm uh -huh. tongue. Help me. You're supposed to be helping me. Dennis, you're going to have to get on to him, buddy. He, he's not, he's lacking. He's not getting with me. Cole Hahn and Allie Joe Jacobs. I said, real nice horse. She done a wonderful job with that horse last year. Oh, she's going to be tougher this yes. year. Believe me, she will be tougher. And right here, I'm going to say, that horse right there, after what I saw over at Lane Leverett's barn party, yes, Mr. True Blue, I've already talked to Jake about breeding feed to him. This horse here, the older he get, the better he get. And I like to see that on the horse, you know, can well, start I, off. The better, when they do that, that that's, goes to that's show. That's right. A true steak horse right there. Well, I tell you what, him and RM, they seem to blend real good. Yep. what he was doing over there at Lane's. He, he, mighty, mighty good. And we've got some great steak horses. These 
it's going to be an odds on favorite right now. Oh, yeah. Every time you see that horse, that horse get better and better. Right, here's another good one. Yes, yeah, Mayor Bill and Dan yep. Waddell. Now, this is a park performance horse here. Look now, he, look at him. Walking, reaching, stepping, driving in that back end. And we need to congratulate Dan. Dan tied the knot. Yep. Yes, sir. Sure did. Heidi and Dan Waddell. He got a real nice wife now. I tell yep. you, Heidi been. I like her. I, I like her a lot. She sent us some good video of her daughter that uh, I thought just precious. I tell you what, this horse right here is tough. Oh yeah, yeah he is. He, he's awful good. And we've got some good park performance horses out here. Some yeah. real good ones. And here's honor and remember. This is another real good horse right here. That state class would be a good class this year, ooh, man. Ooh, I'm telling you, it'd hey, be tough. Anybody thinks it's a gimme? Better go back to the house and, and right. th rethink it. Well, there's going to be some tough ones in there this year. Hey, what? He can get it done, can he? He can't do that. Dan's got a good string of horses oh, yeah. out there. I stopped by there the other day, and I'm telling you, I saw some good ones out there. Some of them, he's got one that's never been shown. It's a three-year-old, mighty good horse. Yes. I know. Kim and George Lewis, they, they really think a lot of this horse. Oh, yeah. Pretty thing. Too. He is a nice horse. El Hombre in Black. It's another nice, horse, real nice horse. Jimmy, I talked to Jimmy one day about him, and he says that horse is just was behind, but he picking up quick. He's coming real on real quick. I like it. Not real fast, just one yeah. heck of a walk. There's several horses that's got that lick, and, I, and I, that's my favorite one. Oh, yeah. It's not real fast, but just a good flat walk, and then come up into that running walk. There's Ali Joe again. Okay, what? These are some good horses. Oh, these are some real year. good horses. They were good last year. They're going to be harder to beat this year. Oh, yeah. That's a nice horse right there. Jamie Lawrence has got that horse's number. Yeah. Now, he really does. He, he knows exactly how to treat him, talk to him. A lot of people don't realize everything that goes into training these horses yeah. and getting them just right for a show. You got the shoeing, you it, everything. It, it just all around. Oh, it sits up real nice and brown. And look through the brown, ears up, happy. He's strutting his stuff, what yeah. he's doing. He's saying, look here, look here at me and Allie Joe. And right here, four-year-old oh. class. This hang it here, up, yeah. When they say Cavender's there, everybody else is riding for the second down, in my opinion. Yeah. That is one great horse. Knox he does a good, great I, job Knox with does him. a real good job. Oh, I like it. Oh, 
year. Super. I watched him the first time he showed over at Thor Sports, and I, I just thought, once that horse comes together, and buddy, he came together. Yeah. Twisted with honors and Tyler Balkum. Hey, that's a heck of a horse. Yes. And Allison, she uh, she sold on that one. It was also uh, voted horse of the year through the Scoop voters. Okay. Sure was. Got the horse of the year honors, but here's me and Pocahontas. That's another one. Big contender for 2023. And it was also voted voted horse of the year by the viewers or the of the readers of the scoop. That horse is that man right there is right on every time you see a show. Yep. Every time. Right there is proof. Me and Pocahontas, yep. and that is no longer Allison Bicknell. She's got to back. No, the only thing she didn't have to change is that anything that's A, B that she's got. Yes. Because of Balkum, she kept that. Uh -huh. Everything else she threw out the door. <laughs> <laughs> it's the medalist in Eli Cunningham. Right here is another. A real nice one. Real good yes. horse right here. Yes. He's a real and good a jockey. Horse. Yes. <laughs> Jake and I talked about Allie Joe and Eli said they get out there and go at each other tooth and nail, but then they run over and start talking about the show. Oh yeah. Then they he, good does, he does a real good job riding that horse right there. Yeah. I want to thank his grandfather too. He's coming up throwing in that he's not only sponsoring the class, but he's helping giving a little extra money to oh, the yeah. kids. His granddad is a good guy. I like to give him a hard time. He gave me a hard time too, but I really. <laughs> yeah, you I can't beat him now. On the phone. You, you can't beat him with a stick now. He's a good one. Well, his number one thing is his daughter and his grandson, and yes. buddy. Look here. Oh, Joe that's... Paul and Winky Gruber. I tell you, Shane Porterfield's got some good horses now. He owns this horse by himself now. Told me that they were going to uh, show him, but they, he was going to go in the specialty class that uh, they wasn't going to counter him this year. They're, they're working on him. Yeah. You know, a lot of times a horse, you start countering him, he'll, he'll get a little off. Yeah. Then you have to go back to, and, and bring him back to the counter, and next time he's great. Here's Honor's Image in Tanner Burks, another one of Shane's horses. He's gonna be good. Yep. He already is, but now he's gonna be a tough contender in that four-year-old open class. Well, he'll be going to state class this year, I believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah he can. He can That's state class. He he's can. he's a four-year-old right. last year, yeah. He's a stake horse this he's year. He's a stake horse this year, yep. And he's another one. I like to see Tanner in the behind. state class. Tanner's tough. Yeah. Right here's one everybody better watch for. I yep. am Mighty Jose. That horse was injured last year, but in that 15-2 class, now he's gonna be hard to beat. I'm gonna surprise, surprise you. Don't see Shane showing him. That's what I was in that class. Thank you. In that 15-2 class, or uh, maybe Pony. He might measure Pony. A dope Pony. Hey, he, he may. Mm -hmm. You know that's that's how they did uh, switchblade. Yeah. When they measured it and they found out he had Pony. The bait was over. And that is, I mean, he is a good horse. Mighty good. Fifteen two and under. Shane's a good dude. Too. Yes, he is. I am big enough and Maxine Beasley for Beth Beasley. Here's another one. Now these kids right here, her and her sister. Hey, 
They got some good mounts, and from oh, yeah. what I'm hearing, they may be taking over some of their mothers, and one of them they may be taking away from John Allen. I'm not should have said that. <laughs> I get a call from Alan saying that we don't nobody know what we're fixing to do. <laughs> Gonna sneak attack them. I tell you, them girls like to ride now. They do yeah, a they good do. job. Well, that day they was out the barn. One of them said she wasn't going to ride until one of them did, and then us, I want to do this. Yeah. Let me on there. <laughs> well, I can tell you what, they can both ride. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl MVP. Can't beat that. These are some great contenders oh, yes. for this year, buddy. In our youth division, open division, amateur division, <laughs> you name it, and it's going to get tough. But out of all of them, I ain't so sure I'd rather show in the open. Oh, yeah. Because this right. amateur, the amateur division is getting especially, tough. Especially, especially the youth. Yeah. They getting out there where they can flat show, and I've I've seen some other, some of our other youth that are getting horses that are going to be hard to beat. Oh too. yeah. Going to be exciting. Going to be exciting. Boy, that's always been a nice horse. Oh, yeah. Out there. That is a real that's nice super. horse. Well, let's see what else we got. Oh, we're going to go to a party. That'll work. <laughs> I will say this. It's the first time I ate red beans and rice. They were good. I was surprised. Plum shocked. Have I ever told you a story before, Jerry? No, no. See? No, there no. you go. Yeah, you told me the horse was world grand champion. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> No, they were they were good. Jeremy got his feel. Yeah, that horse right there is it's Charlie McCarthy right there with Jim Gibbert. I let Jeremy rode him that day. I'm that gonna be my mount for the show season right is there. That, is yeah. that gonna be your mount? Yeah. You mean he's actually gonna let you ride? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's surprising. <laughs> That is and there, surprising. There is Quinn. That's for Sharon Hickerbottom. I said she gonna show it in the show pleasure class. All right. Yeah. I, I think Sharon's the only one that didn't ride yes. Saturday, wasn't she? Mm -hmm. The longer that mare goes, the better she gets. That's Mr. Jim's three-year-old horse, the Yakety Yak. Yakety Yak don't talk back. Yeah. Mm. Mr. Jim gonna make his debut at the Penny Royal on him in three-year-old amateur class. Yeah, he told me that he was gonna yeah. be showing. Yeah. You know, he can pick a guitar and sing, too. Oh, yeah. And you know, he taught all that stuff during the COVID. Is that right? Mm hmm. Never done it before until COVID. And he taught himself how to do it. I'm getting excited watching him show this, show this horse right here. Well, he, he acts like he's having a good time, and that's, that's all that matters. Yep. If, if you enjoy, enjoy it, that's it. Yeah. But I got an excuse now when people ask me why I'm not showing. <laughs> I told you that I may show my mare, but you said, no, nah, we can't do that until back then. So that's right. That, that's my excuse. <laughs> that's your excuse now. It wasn't me. It wasn't <laughs> me. All right, we got an interview to go to. We're inside riding, and we just got to see Mr. Jim Gilbert ride one. You did a good job there, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. How long have you been in the horse industry? 
I, best I remember, I bought my first one in 1977, and I've had horses ever since. I normally just raise colts and buy and sell a few, and I've shown, you know, throughout the years a little bit. Well, Jerry seems to have your horse pretty much timed up, him and Jeremy. Now, they're doing a yeah, good job they, with him. Yeah, they're doing a good job with him. I'm tickled with him. Well, you planning on showing him this year? I'm planning on starting out with him next Saturday night. All right. You're up, oh, you're going up to, to, up to Kentucky. Yes, sir. Well, that's, that's closer to me than it is for where I live and coming up here. So. Well, we're going to be up there live streaming it, so you okay. tell everybody to watch. I and will. And they'll get to see you on TV. Yeah, okay. Or the computer, however how they watch it. All right. But say, you've been in the business since 77. How long yes. have you had horses with Jerry? Uh, I think this is the third year. Third year. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. i tell you what now. I've had horses with him for some time now, and I, I am tickled with what he does. Yeah. Uh, today's been a great day. Really had a good got a time. Got a good crowd, good turnout <laughs> here, so. Oh, yeah, everybody gave him out for the red rice and beans. Yeah, I that's was it. gonna take some home with me, but none left. Well, that's what I noticed. <laughs> <coughs> Pretty much all gone yeah. right now. Well, Jim, I appreciate you okay. taking the time to talk with us a little bit. No Looking problem. forward to I'll seeing see you next, next weekend then. Right. I'll be there. All right. <laughs> The only one thing, we got a little dusty in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I was getting choked up there <laughs> so much. All right, we got some more barn party. There's Colt. Yeah. Jeremy's still riding. Yeah. Which one is this that? This horse is called Steady and Ready. Steady and Ready. That's for Dennis Paul. Oh, he just warmed him up for yeah. Dennis. Yeah, uh-huh. Old Dennis, he likes them horses now. He's him and his brother. His brother don't ride, but he comes to every horse show. And right? Benny stands, yep. Well, that's what we want. Yeah. Tell him he don't have to ride one. He can be like me, you know, yeah. trail ride every now and then. That's right. We want him to buy one. Jump in with both feet. That's the way Dennis told me yeah. he got started. Uh huh. He said they. He said, no, nah. I said, I can't afford one. They priced one. He went home, got thinking, got thinking. So he said, I called him back up and told him I thought I'd do it. <laughs> Having fun, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about, having fun. And that's you have no fun, you need to stay I home. really enjoy it, you know. And then he's gonna show his, well, Jeremy's gonna show his horse up at the Penny Royal. You know, these horses is pretty much is relaxing for these people that works all week and they yeah. come in on weekend to have, to enjoy themselves. Well, that's what this is all about. That's what yeah. we was doing. We wasn't, if none of them horses ready to go to the show right then, but they was ready to have a good time. Have a good time to come to eat that's and stuff like matters. that. Well, after Dennis rode, I did interview him and, and thoroughly enjoyed it, but I told him it was like a uh, an ad, a Jerry Williams ad, because <laughs> he, he went off. No. I asked him, and, and Buddy, he took off. I mean, he's a I'm true still blue wondering if fan you paid now. Him. No, I ain't paying him. He's sure? A, I'm positive. He's a true blue fan. All right, well, I'm just wondering if you if you paid him or not, because he did uh, kind of pat you on the back kind of hard <laughs> with both hands. So. We are still here with Denali, and I am with Mr. Dennis Parks, who just rode his horse. So what do you think about Jerry Williams' horse training? I think Jerry Williams is about the best trainer I know. He, he's good. He, he takes a lot of time with the horses. He, he does a really, really great job, and he has brought my horse a long way from the way he was when I first brought him over here. And he's the, uh, I had a horse with him before, which he done a real good job with him. And I appreciate everything that he does, and and he just a great trainer. He does everything that's supposed to be done right. Dennis, that sounds like a commercial for Jerry Williams. Did, yeah. that, did he pay you to say that? Nope. <laughs> he didn't pay me to say he that. But, to say but that it. is the truth. He, he's really a good no. trainer, and and he does a, a terrific job. I mean, real patient with the horses, and you can't ask for no more than that. Well, I have to agree with you. I mean, I've, that's the reason I got one out here. I watch everything he does. Mm -hmm. He takes his time. He doesn't push. But 
It's just when, when and I didn't mean to lose horse when you got on your. I, I know you did. I know. I know you did. I know. I know you just clowning. Yeah. But we're, we're having a good time out here. Yeah, today, yeah we though. are. A lot yep. of camaraderie. I'm gonna have to tell you something though. Some of them red beans and rice, mm -hmm. pretty good. Well, they were. They I, were. They had I've a, never a, ate them a before. real distinguished taste. They were really nice. That's one thing mm -hmm. I've never eaten. He's a ate. good cook and a good trainer. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. he, he told me, he keeps bragging about his cooking. This is the first time I ate it. Uh -huh. But it's pretty good. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Me too. It's my first mm -hmm. time I've eaten this cooking. Mm -hmm. well, what about your horse? What's your horse's name? Uh, steady and ready. Steady and ready. Uh -huh. Well, I tell you what, you get a good job of showing him. But oh, yes. Dennis, I appreciate you taking time to talk with us. Mm hmm and have, you a, have a safe trip home, my friend. Yes, sir. You too. <laughs> Still believe you paid him. No, he's, I'm going to tell you, he's he's just, he's a good he, guy. He's a super guy. What he said sounded so much like it was scripted. <laughs> it, he must have wrote it down and practiced, <laughs> he practiced it before he came. But now he's a good guy. Well, now I'm going to do his favorite thing. It's your turn to do your thing. We'll be right back after these educational messages. Why of each one, so uh, get your cat off for me or sit yourself in the rooms. Want everybody to know the rooms of the games we're here today? So, 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 there's opportunity. And then 27, where you at, Mark? 26, 27, 27. Last call. When you get down to it, done. So, so. You got it, 2600, 2600 here. And then 56 and a half. 5600. Down to 5500 here at 6. So, 5500, you bought it, 5500. And so, 1100, Mark, call, take it. Call 1100, you bought it. So, so, so. You break one, break the next one. That's the real deal, guys, right here. Opportunity is knocking right here, Adam Johnson. Here's a horse to take it home. Right out of the city, it's been so, so, so good, it. Six-time world champion in amateur and open competition, four-time amateur world grand champion, and 2019 world grand champion. Standing at stud for Joanne Dow at Fantasy Farms in Bell Buckle, Tennessee. Call 931-389-6983 for breeding information. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> CJ says that we had to roll it because we got a lot of video. I'm ready to go. Let's see the horse. <laughs> well, I can tell you one thing. Who's in, who's in the picture right here? Yeah. Jeremy says he can't have none until after he's been ridden. This is what I get. If I go to the stall, he'll kick the, kick the door, but he, he, wants, a, he, he wants something. <laughs> All right, this is John McEnroe. Mm hmm or Regina. She must watch tennis. <laughs> no, this is a nice horse. This is her first show horse she ever had. And just like you see on your commercial, you see one day and you own one tomorrow, and that's that what is. she does. She come and see him one day, and she come back next that week and say she wanted to buy him. That's all, that's all that matters. Get them and run, get them and run. But that, that's a nice that's that's horse. Yeah. Well, we've got another interview, and this one's very important because this is Wayne Hart uh, and, and what he's doing for the youth show. I mean, he's, yeah. he's really getting into it. So let's go to the interview. We are here at Denali Jerry Williams and Son Stables in Shelbyville, and I have with me Wayne Hart. And Wayne, I want to thank you, number one, for being a sponsor for the Youth Equine Support Show. I know that uh, we, we got a lot of things going on, but one thing that we are doing that I'm very thankful for is every winner of a class, their name's going to be put in a hat, and then you're gonna give them a $500 cash 
bonus if their name's pulled out of the hat. Exactly. That, that's pretty good. Now, uh, you and Janelle, we, I appreciate it. Well, Janelle and me are looking forward and privileged to doing this. Yeah. We think it's a great thing, and maybe it's a footstep for somebody else to step up to something good or better, but we feel like it's a good start. Well, it, it is, and a lot of people are talking about it, but there's, we've added one more catch to it mm -hmm. that we're going to take all the names of every youth that shows on April the 8th, and we're going to put them in a hat, and whoever wins the $500 is going to reach in there and pull out two more names that will get $100 a piece. Exactly. That shows you that they're all winners. Right. They're all winners. And we want to appreciate them and show them that they are winners and participating, and they are the future of the walking horse industry. So me and Janelle, Janelle and I are very happy to, to do this and appreciate what you do and the walking horse people. And uh, we've watched the youth come up and become uh, world grand champion riders and stuff. So we're looking forward to it. We think it's a good thing. We hope it is. Well, I know Jerry and I have talked about it because that was Jerry's idea to have the first time to show class, which that class, we've got eight, eight youth classes, but the first time to ride class is actually going to have two winners. It'd be a winner for the flat shot and a winner for the padded. And right. the padded can be park performance or complete pads. It makes no difference. Exactly. Well, we're privileged to do it. And, and uh, we're looking forward to it. And I, I, I just think that it's a good thing. I appreciate you doing what you do. And, I, and we have to realize all the youth, people like uh, Ms. Jacobs mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, Aaliyah Bell and all the younger ones that have come up through the ranks oh, yeah. to be where they're at. So we're, we're very privileged to watch them grow and come, to, to come together, and we look forward to participating and supporting the future. All right. Well, I see we got a horse that's fixing And we the got some, one more to show you. All right. We go, we're going to give you this. This is the April the 8th Walking Horse Show. In, in, in Lynchburg, and these, this is the $500 winner right here. All right, we, we got it in a special we little bag. There. And we've got oh, yeah. the other two here <laughs> to, to draw for, for $100 winners. This is neat, Wayne. Well, this is neat now. <laughs> well, we do that, we try, and we, with your guidance and support, we, we turn this over to you, to the horse show, and looking forward to, to doing it. Well, I'm gonna turn it over to Marcy Allison and that's let her guard fine. it. She does a great job. <laughs> Without Marcy, we wouldn't be able to have one anyway. Yeah, that's exactly right. But we mm -hmm. want to leave this to you today so that you can see where it is and, 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 and take it to the horse show. It's something else. Appreciate it, Wayne. No, thank you, thank you appreciate buddy. you. Thank, thank you. Thank you Tell you what, that was just starting out. James Wilson has jumped in there and said, well, let's put two more envelopes in there. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, I, I appreciate the support. Oh I yeah, it is. is Here we likes go. Horses. We're in East Tennessee. Errol Smith by Perfect Talk. This horse right here is is a nice coat. He's kind of special to me. I sold his coat as a yearling. Is that right? Right here. To Paul Simmons. Then I turned around and sold him back to Kevin Mitchell. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I tell you what, he's a nice one. Oh, that's a nice coat right there. It makes me proud when I can see stuff that I just sold, turn on and keep on going on and doing real good. Honors Philly out of Jose Mayer, Jordan Cardell. Tell you what, they, they had some really nice coats up there. Bob Roach has furnished this video for us. Yeah. He, Bob is a super good guy, and he, he goes to some places I don't go. He wants some of your video from your barn party. We're going to send yeah. that to him. Dixie Lineman by Tanner, by Tanner, trained by Tanner Burp. I think that's going to sound funny. <laughs> Got a pretty good horse yeah. there. I believe that's the one that uh, uh, that's a nice. Yeah, one. it is. Leanne Tibbs. That's one that she kind of liked, I believe. Okay. 
Yeah, because she described that filly and said it had one back uh, white stocking, back foot. She's right. It looks awful good. El Zorro Star Philly. Mmm. The El Zorro Star Philly. Hey, well, that's a nice place that you oh, yeah. folks got up there. It is a very nice place. El Zorro Star Philly. Have a master day. That's pretty nice right there. Yep, real nice. Well, now Bob said they had a lot of real good ones up there. Said, said there were several real nice coats. Cold broker. It's a nice looking coat. Yeah. Hawk on the Loose, an R.M. Kelly. Hawk on the Loose. Spencer Van Dyke's favorite. I ain't so sure there ain't more fillies than there are studs oh, yeah. this year. So I've seen a ton of good fillies. Honors presented by Lane Leverett. I tell you what, his son's doing a good job. Oh, yeah. This is the honors coat. Lane Leverett and Sons Fable. Honors Coat. Lane Leverett and Sons Fable. Honors Coat. Lane Leverett and Sons Fable. A lot of them getting in here. Oh, yeah. It's a nice coat. Bob sent us some real good videos. Oh, yeah. He did. He, uh, he put some nice stuff together up there. Here's another honors coat. Got an honors coat here. Yes, that is Spencer Benedict Staples. And this coat is by honors. And oh, my that is the second coat like that I've seen out of honors, that coat yeah. color. It's a nice one right there. Oh, yeah. You're using the front legs. They said they have a real good open house Friday night, road coat Saturday. Yeah. In line with Lester. Now, what kind of name? I like that. In line. Inline 
There's a Jose. Spencer took a bunch up there. Yeah. Spencer does a good job with the young Oh, boys. he does. R.M. They're a good team. Yeah. They're like, if you look back years past, Toby Green, Buddy Hugh. Yeah. People like that, I mean, they did fantastic work together. Tell you some good video right there, some horses, some good coats. I heard about this one. Cottonwood had it. I tell you what, watching all these good coats right here make you want to go back to the barn and start riding. <laughs> Well, I tell you, it does. It lets you know what's out there. Yeah. Because you can see some of them are just about there. Some of them are right on the verge. Birds, yeah. Tell you what that young man right there works hard at. That's what it takes. It takes saddle time, Jim. Yeah. And being willing to to take a chance yeah. and, and work. Make some alterations oh, yeah. and see, well, maybe this will work and do I mean it just takes it. Oh yeah, it takes, it takes time. A little, it takes yeah. a little tinkering. All right, we're gonna take a short pause for our sponsors. See how I did that? I and see. We'll you did right a good back. job. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communication. You know, my friends think I know everything there is to know about the walking horse industry. And I do know a lot, but not everything. I do know one thing, though. My father told me I could find out anything I needed to know about this industry by going to walkinghorsereport.com. And you know what? He was right. Everything from single night shows to multi night shows, sibling and progeny searches, rider cup standing, stallion reports. They even have a calendar of shows for the entire year and all the current news. It's all right there at the tip of my fingers when I go to walking horsereport.com. You know, they could do it themselves, but I don't think I'm going to tell them. Let's just keep them wondering how I know so much. All right, we're going back to Snapwood. See how I did that? I see. <laughs> Coach, that guy pretty good way of going. Yeah, he does. Bernardo Green. He's very dangerous. Yeah. 
Lester H. Byrne, Spencer Benedict Staples. Mr. Sandman. Yeah. You remember you remember Sandman? No, that's a little before my time there. Sandman was? Mm -hmm. Oh, Sandman did. Benjamin showed him? Yeah. NRA, that was oh, yeah. before your time. I thought you were talking about you the song. You ain't that young, I buddy. thought you were talking about the song there. Well, <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. That song before my time. Tell me, before my <laughs> time. <laughs> I tell you what, Jimbo has really put a nice place together up there. He, he really has. He has. I tell you, across from Uncle Neary's over there, he's putting a real nice ball yep. together over there. Sky Command. Coach. Tell you what, there's some good coats oh, up yeah, there. Bob told me that there was several real nice coats. Yeah, this coach is out of Brent Rider Sable. Brent Rider Sky Command. Man coat. Yes, we have Tyler riding. But this horse is out of Brent Rider's table. Shady. Hey, Terry got a big step. Yeah. That's another barn. Yes, yeah, at Brandon Tate. Yeah, that's Brandon Tate's barn. Yeah. Tell you what, he had a good party down oh, there. Oh, yeah, he did have a good party down there. Well, time Charlie oh, Coke. Oh. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. You know, walk time, he puts them out there with that flashy mane and tail. Oh, yeah. He's a brother to Sir Charles. Yes, he's by walk time, Charlie. Here's another one. Must be Mike Hanna. I don't know that song. <laughs> Once that coat there gets it all together, he's he he gonna be tough, ain't he? Yeah. That's why I like coat previews, because you can look and you can, for somebody will say, well, that, that don't look like it. But if you watch what they're doing, yeah. and especially their back end, watch how they're using their front end, yeah. you just about figure what they're going to look like. You just have to work with them.
You know, kind of like Michael Jordan, he couldn't even make his own high school basketball team. I'm Charlie Philly. Did you know that? Mm-hmm. I couldn't either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too, Jimmy Baumgartner with that one right there. Billy. Oh, yeah. I can't get over this. These will have a rat Jerry's got some good reach to him. Oh, yeah. Takes a good step. Yeah, it is. He's a big horse, too. Yeah. He just got to bring it all together. Now, he looks good. Oh, yeah. My, my look real good. Look real good. Well, everybody remember, Friday night, about... 3 o'clock, 3.30, 4 o'clock, there will be a link on my Facebook page or on the Walking Horse, What A Horse TV video group web page for the live stream. You can take, log on, it's free, and we're hoping for a big show. Just thank you. Yep. Watch Jerry Williams. That's right. He'll walk around. He's hollering at Jeremy. He hollering at Jeremy, keeping him straight. Him and Bray Kirby. <laughs> him and Bray. <laughs> Well, good luck with, with Brad. <laughs> Brad said they're going to make me go to that horse show. You know, the, this new rule, I didn't know it, but Brad told me that uh, the rule they won't do now, back when he was young, that him, Link Webb, uh, Bobby, Hugh. Bobby Hugh, all of them had to show in the open class because yeah. they worked for their fathers at the barn. Mm -hmm. So that's nothing new. We all turn back the hands of time. And do it again. Oh yeah, gonna do it again. Well, I guess we're we're gonna get ready to go. Yes, sir. How many are you taking? We're taking four. Four. Yes. So you're gonna have your hands full. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you Friday night live from the Penny Royal. Okay. That'll work. That'll work. See that. you then. See you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. I got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking.